Hey now, Mike Shaman here, and today I just want to walk you guys through a quick little how to authenticate your email address with GetResponse. It's pretty easy, but you may not know how to do it, so I want to let you guys know how to do it. So what I've done is I'm in GetResponse right now, and I'm going to manage my account. Okay, so just click manage my account. Then I'm back here in email addresses. So go ahead, click that. Brings you to this page. And then if you see, I already have some authenticated right here. All right, confirm. And now what I'm going to do is authenticate my other one. So usually this says authenticate if you haven't authenticated it. This one says pending because I just hit this one for an example. And I'm going to show you guys. But go ahead and click authenticate. All right, and then this code will pop up. It says authenticate your domain. and says create a TXT record for this number at domain key dot your domain dot com with this value and then it gives you the value there so what you need to do is you need to you need to go back into where your domain is stored and find where the dns records are and where your dns settings are okay you need to modify your domain's dns settings now don't get scared because this is pretty easy actually i'm going to show you guys how to do it right now all right so it, it, it's only a couple clicks it's, let's go all back to our domain all right i'm in bluehost i'm under my domains i want the domain domain that I'm changing the email for or that I'm authenticating the email for. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to your DNS manager here and you scroll down and there's a uh, TXT records. Okay. There's TXT records here. You want to go to add record. All right. And it's going to say host record and then it's going to say uh, TXT value. All right. And so for TXT value, you are going to put in this, uh, right here all the way up to domain key all right so you go back to uh, host record and that's where your host record goes and then the txt value is actually excuse me the txt value is this right here and let's go to put that in all right and then you just go save all right so it's saved it right now and now once that's authenticated, we'll come back over here and now it's pending and we'll refresh, but it usually takes a few hours to recognize it. All right, let's see. It's just been a few minutes now. So it's still pending. It's three, it's 519 right now. I'll come back and see what time they confirm it at. All right, guys. So I just went back in. I checked my account. It's 836 PM right now and it's been authenticated. So it only took a few hours right there and that's how you authenticate your account.